Hello, my name is Brendan. I'm in year 8 and I go to Covenant Christian School. Today I'll be showing you my zombie game. Let's start. So this is a story. So this guy, he's a very bad person and he created a virus. This virus turns people into zombies. And he's going to trick this person into taking the virus and by giving him $10 when he, if he actually does it. And he said yes, and now he's a zombie. So he's ordering him to go eat people because he's a zombie. Yes, and this is the material collection area. As you can see, I just got some stone from that after mining that stone ore. So if you mine this uh, silver looking ore, then we get some metal. And now uh, I got some more stone. But this is a really long process, so I'll just cheat to get some more. Now that I have tons of stone and metal, I'll go to the shop area. Yep. If you go to the shop, uh, I can buy a gun. Another gun and another gun. I'll go with a simple one. And if you go to the next page, we can get some extra metal. So ex what extra metal does is increases the more metal you get after you mine an ore. This one does the same except for stone. This just does the same thing but more and same for this one. So if you look at escape, this to escape, you can buy the rescue team for 5,000 gold, 300 metal and 1,000 stone. So what this does is you can beat the game if you have, if you can buy this. So now you might be wondering, how do you get gold? Let's go to gold collection. So since I bought a gun, we can shoot the zombies and get gold. And every time I shoot them, I get 20 gold. This is a uh, zombie killing part of the game. And, but this is also takes a long time. So I'll just press Q and get tons. Yep. So now I can press escape and we'll win. Yep, thank you. So, so I'll show you the code. So this is the dialogue that they were talking. It's pretty simple. Uh, so this is how uh, the main character moves by using this. And this is the code to increase how much stone you get per mining this ore. Um, I put it in an animation here, here to here, so it doesn't look too boring and you know it's working. And this is how to increase the per stone value. You add, we have one because that's the basic stone value. And then we have the extra stones, which is, which you can get by buying this. Yep. And that's the same for the metal too. Hmm. If you go to shop, this is where you buy stuff. Uh, let's look at the guns first. So this is the guns. So this is what takes away your money and well, how much it costs. It does minus, so it doesn't actually add to the total. And it's a set gun type, so it knows which gun it is. So it has the same gun in the gun thing. And the speed, so how fast the bullet travels. And then reload speed, so how fast it takes to reload. So, but if you don't have enough money, it'll say not enough. And that's the same for all guns. Yep. And so, if you click this, you uh, win the game. So, yep, same for this one too. If you look at zombies, this is the bullet code. Uh, if you look at this, I set the value of attack to zero. So, you can't... And then... Once you actually press the space bar, the it creates a clone, and the clone has an attack value of one. And after it does this, it says change. Yeah, that's the speed. And if it touches the wall, uh, it goes back to zero. And it has to be um, zero to fire another bullet again. So it has to hit a zombie or hit the wall <clears throat> to reload and shoot again. So it doesn't break the game too much. Yep. And if we look here, this is the zombie code. So this is the animation of the zombie, and this is how much gold you get if you kill a zombie. Yep. If you look at the person, uh, it's, it's an animation to see which gun you're holding. It's pretty simple. So it's to change shapes, like if I'm if I bought the AK, so I have this shape, if I bought the normal one, 
I have this gun. Yep, and this is the moving, just normal movement codes. And yep, that's it.